Dave Brown of Woodstock stands on one side of the Fletcher Hill Road. In front of him is a path of destruction left by Tropical Storm Irene. Further up the Fletcher Hill Road, Irene's strength is even more apparent. A washout as far as the eye can see. Brown is one of about 12 families in this section of town that do not have vehicle access to their homes. That means no ambulances and no fire trucks either. If you want to get there, you have to hike in. Something I found out quickly as I began to report this story. We're a little short on uh, milk and uh, bread, but uh, bananas. and bananas, but uh, we're okay. Brown has a generator running his well pump, so even though he does not have electricity, he still has water and a pantry full of food. We really have everything we need, and yet we feel disconnected from our friends in downtown Woodstock because we can't actually get there. Just down the street, Nidra Grambling's nerves are apparent. I'm just praying that everything will come out okay. And, you know, it's, I don't know, I've gotten a lot of people helping, so... I don't know. The elderly woman does have company, her daily caregiver. We are getting low on milk and we're getting low on bread, but there's plenty of stuff in the cupboards and in the freezer. The home's well is gravity fed, so they too have access to fresh water, but they do not have easy access to the outside world. And it's kind of hard to sleep at night knowing that you can't get help right away if you needed it. Because both ends of the road are gone, getting to a hospital, if need be, will be difficult. What would happen if we needed emergency care? That's, I think that's probably if she should fall or I should fall and we had to get help. So at this point, it's neighbors helping neighbors, friends helping friends. Brown and Robinson exchange numbers in case there is an emergency. My son brought my medicine this morning. He hiked down, then I took him back up and I'm sure somebody can get food to us somehow. That's something Brown is already working on. He strung a zip line that he intends to use to pass food over the blown out culvert. Rig some sort of a bosun's chair and uh, put the groceries in that chair and haul across the, the river.